In tonight's Crime Watch, Tucson police are focusing on several crime hotspots around the city. Night on your side's Ryan Fish is live from one of them on the east side. And Ryan, what have you found out? Pat and Heidi, people here tell me this stretch of 22nd Street already sees plenty of police activity. TPD believes that more resources and more engagement will help solve the problem. This east side apartment complex near 22nd and Prudence, the center of one of TPD's so-called crime hotspots. Not only do we have a lot of crime, but specifically gun crime and gun violence. Just last week, two men were shot and killed here. Across the street, employees at this business plaza say a bullet hit a window at this laundromat over the weekend. I mean, it's a worry for us in this plaza here. It's a sobering reality for the bartenders at Margarita Bay. During the day, I see a lot of police over at the apartments across the way. I mean, it's a constant thing. Enforcement alone is not going to solve this problem. It's everybody working together, education, and coming together to fix it. Since January, TPD has targeted three hot spots in town for Place Network Investigations, or PNI. Lieutenant Lizette Gomez says she took over the lead here about a month ago. Research is showing us that crime is not always random. Um, it's actually concentrated in across victims, places, and offenders. And a PNI is to disrupt the offender network and uproot that problem. That means not just more officers in the area, but also consistently talking with neighbors and nearby businesses. Instead of just doing a few months, letting our crime stats go down, we're going to stay the long haul. We're going to stay here and in. Let the community know we are here, we're part of it. It's going to take months, but we're going to see what the root of the problem is and attempt to dig it out so that when we do leave, it's sustainable and our communities feel safe here. It's an ambitious goal, but already reassuring for some. I hate to see what goes on, but I'm glad the police will be, you know, it here around here a lot more. Now, other police departments across the country use place network investigations, and that research was apparently enough for TPD to implement the same strategy here as the department also juggles staffing shortages right now. On the east side, Ryan Fish, KGA 9 on your side. All right, Ryan, thank you.